On a dark night away from city lights, you can get a glimpse of the immense universe around us. It's amazing to think that every single object in the space, whether it is a star, whether it is a planet or a structure that you can see, is controlled by the same force, the force of gravity. It is the force that binds star to galaxies, planet to stars, and us to Earth. Around 350 years ago, thanks to Isaac Newton, we got the first mathematical equation describing it. His equation contained a constant now referred as Newton's gravitational constant. His theory allowed us to model the solar system fairly accurately. By over time, we found that it was incomplete because it gave us some wrong results. In 1915, Einstein fixed the problem by giving us the theory of relativity. This helped us to describe the new exotic phenomena such as black hole, gravitational lensing. However, we found out today that general relativity is also incomplete as it explains the only the classical physics, not the quantum physics. As the universe core seems to be quantum physics, not classical physics, so if we try to use Einstein theory to make meaningful results in quantum model, it gives us nonsense results. Why it is a pain in asshole, nevertheless, the most difficult problem to solve in physics. We're gonna talk about this in this video. Why quantum gravity should be like other forces. As per the fundamental code of quantum physics, all the force that we are aware of, like electromagnetic force, weak decay force, strong nuclear force, we have identified particles that transmit the force at quantum level. In quantum theory, each particle acts both as particle and wave. This is called duality in quantum physics. Nevertheless, it should be also same for the gravity. So if there is graviton, we expect it to behave both as particle and wave. Why it is a major problem to quantize gravity? In summary, the difficulty in quantizing gravity arises from the deep and fundamental difference between general relativity and quantum mechanics as well as the lack of experimental data. Another factor that makes quantizing gravity difficult is because it is so extremely weak. For example, the electromagnetic force is an order of 10 to the power 14 times stronger. This is why a tiny magnet can lift off a nail against the gravitational force of the entire Earth. The 10 to the power 40 difference is like comparing the size of an atom to the size of the universe. The weakness makes nearly impossible to do experiment measuring for example gravity of an atom so it is difficult to calculate because there is very little experimental data you might say that why do we care as we know that the general relativity and quantum field theory are incomplete they do not provide the complete picture of universe like theory of singularity a complete theory would help us to fill the gaps and possibly solve other major mysteries such as the nature of dark matter and dark energy, the source of mass of neutrinos. It would bring us close to a theory of everything which